Hi, today I'd like to talk a bit about a feature in Redis called bitmaps and how we can leverage that to build simple and efficient analytics. Let's say we have a web app and we'd like to measure user retention, that is, how often our users return to us. One of the ways to measure that is to track the probability of a user staying with us two months in a row. So we can uh, take the users that visited us in April, see if they visited us in May, and compute our retention percentage. How can we design a system that supports that? Well, one of the ways is to store for every user whether they have logged in this month. Whenever the user signs in, we do an upsert to the login stats table, and then we run a query to take all the users who have logged in both in April and May and count them. Another, much simpler way is to use Redis's bitmaps. If you haven't used Redis, Redis is an in-memory data structure store. It's like a dictionary or a hash map that is stored completely in memory. In your infrastructure, Redis runs as a separate service alongside your database. And like your database, it has a command line interface that you can use to interact with it. With a command line interface, you can execute commands that read and manipulate the keys within Redis. The values for those keys have types, and some commands are applicable only to certain types. For example, you can use the set command to, um, well, set a certain key's value as a string. Or you can use the lpush command to push some values onto a list. There are also libraries in your favorite programming language, and their API mostly resembles the command line interface, so we won't cover them in this video. Alright, back to bitmaps. Bitmaps are a data type used within Redis that represents a long list of bits that contain a zero by default. And we can use a setbit command to flip a certain bit to one or to zero. All right, nothing spectacular here. However, a bitmap is very efficient and quite large. It can store up to two to the power 32 bits, which is about four billion items. That's enough to store some event data for all of our users. So getting back to our initial example, how do we measure the user retention? Well, we can create a bitmap for the month of April. And when the user with ID 6 signs in, we run the setbit command and set the bit corresponding to their ID to 1. When another user signs in, well, we set their ID bit to 1. If we want to find out how many unique users did we have in April, we can use the bitcount command and pass it the key of our bitmap. If we run the same process for the month of May, we get another bitmap. And when we want to find out which users signed in both in April and May, we can use the bitop command to issue a bitwise end, storing the result in a different bitmap and passing the bitmaps that we want to end. And then we can compare the two counts and measure our monthly rotation rate at a very small performance cost. We can extend this approach to cover more generic questions like what percentage of users bought a product after they opened our weekly newsletter? Redis provides us with a simple way to measure these things without introducing additional load on our main database and while keeping the code simple and easy to change. Thanks for watching.